We're here by invitation of the Smithsonian to uh, take the dial off President Lincoln's watch to find out if indeed there is a inscription underneath. It was about a month ago I got a call from Doug Stiles and uh, he basically said, do you know anything about this story that's been in my family for a while about my great-great-grandfather? And I said, no. And then he sent me an article from the New York Times that was published in 1906. Here was an interview of my great-great-grandfather when he was 83 in 1906 telling the New York Times what he did. One day, Mr. Galt, the owner of the jewelry shop, ran up into the workroom and said, the war, meaning the Civil War, has begun. At that moment, a jeweler in the shop by the name of Jonathan Dillon is holding Abraham Lincoln's watch. Carried away at the moment, he unscrews the dial and behind it writes something like, the first shots have been fired, slavery will end, at least we have a president who will try and then closes the watch back up. So what we'll do is we'll take the dial off now and we will see if there is a legend under the dial. The moment of truth has come. Well, is there or is there not an inscription <laughs> there? I will let the great grandson of the Watchmaker, read it. There is an inscription. It is there. <clears throat> April 13, 1861, Fort Sumter was attacked by the rebels on the above date. Thank God we have a government. Jonathan Dillon. I think this is a fabulous moment for the museum because it, it really represents everything we do uh, to try to document history using our objects and then using uh, the stories uh, surrounding our object and now we've confirmed a great story that in fact this uh, man did repair Lincoln's watch, that it was Lincoln's watch and that he felt inspired by that moment to leave something for posterity that he had no way of knowing anyone would ever see. And um, so I think it's a great uh, moment and also a great confirmation of, of what we do here at the American History Museum.